Watch you guys, gonna have a product review here for you. This one is the Arcos 80 Titanium. This one is uh, a very affordable tablet, eight inch screen on this one. And as you can see, this one has got eight gigabytes of storage space, also upgradable to 64 gigs. IPS uh, panel screen, 1.6 dual core CPU, 1024 by 768 resolution, mini HDMI output, and also uh, Wi-Fi. 4.1 Jelly Bean and access to over 700,000 apps on Google Play. Let's have a look on the back here. As you can see, Android applications, web experience, HD uh, multimedia, 1080p, 30 frames per second playback on there. It looks very similar to an iPad mini, and uh, but less price for this one. It's very affordable, and uh, to be honest, I don't know how they do it for that price, but it does look a very nice bit of kit for the money. Let's get this out of the box and have a look at what we get for our money. Now if gaming is your thing then they've also thought of that by giving you a quad core GPU which will play all your latest games. Now if you like watching movies well you can watch those at 1080p at 30 frames per second. It plays all different types AVI, MP4, MOV, 3GP, MGP, you name it it does them all. Let's have a look at what's in the box. Here we've got our Arcos warranty as you can see. It's a thick old book this one, uh, but there's your warranty. And uh, also we've got our user guide, which is uh, in many different languages, which will help you use your device. I don't use these things, I just turn them on and work it out myself. But pretty much if you need it, it's there. We've also got uh, a USB cable here with a mini USB on the other end. Now the plug situation here, you've got all the variants of plugs, two pin, there's another uh, free pin here by the looks of it, yeah free pin UK and also another type of uh, pin here which is uh, some sort of two pin. But they all fit on this one adapter here which we'll have a look at a little bit later on in a video. Now you've got your uh, Arcos technical assistance for every country that you may be in. This is French made I think this Arcos tablet. Okay let's take a look at the tablet itself. Now this weighs 440 grams and it's 9.9 .9 millimeters thick. It's got a aluminium back as you can see. A really nice finish to this. Now some people say this does get a little bit hot um, but to me it's okay. It's not a big problem. You've got a back camera there, 2 megapixel on the back. Also there's your speaker for your uh, sound. And you can see the logo and all the information there. It's got a real nice feel to it. Very iPad looking. Okay, there's the SD slot, takes up to 64 gig. There's the screw there that releases the case. There's our reset button, also our power port and a mini HDMI, a mini USB, and there's the other screw to release the case as well. There's you've got your phono port here, and there is your power button to power the device on. Let's have a look on the side here. We've got the home button right here and also we've got the uh, volume rocker button right there. Nothing on the bottom there, and nothing on that side there. But as you can see, 9.9mm .9 thick, toughened glass, it really does look good. There's the front camera right there, and uh, as you can see, the beveled edges really give it a nice feel uh, to this. And then you've got the actual logo right at the bottom. There's the actual power adapter here, like I was talking about. Now this takes about four or three different types of power adapters here. You just have to line it up with the little grooves like so. And then just twist and lock. And that should lock that into position. And there is an actual lock button here and also a release button to release it. So you can actually change it right over. There's the release button right there. So we'll just put some power into this right now. I'm going to power this up for the first time and just set this uh, pad up. A little flashing type of logo there on boot up, but it's pretty. I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed with this uh, type of uh, device here because it's uh, such a low cost, but it's really high quality. It's a good build for the money. So we'll just go through the motions here and uh, set this up. I'm going to select my language and just go through here and go next. Just zoom this in a bit so you can see. I'm going to go next here. I'm going to click OK here. 
and next again and next and there's your wireless setup if you want to set up your wireless I'll do this a little bit later on so I'm just going to quickly uh, push next here and next again now you can install all your third party applications here I'm going to go no for this and uh, click OK and we're done with the uh, setup process okay we should be up to the desktop here now this is your desktop display we're just going to click OK here and uh, this will be the display you get here now this has got a really smooth action to it it's silky smooth and that will be due to the dual core A9 uh, processor there with 1.6 gigahertz as you can see it's also got a a quad core GPU on this one so you can play all your games on this and watch some really high definition movies at 1080p uh, 30 frames per second which I thought was pretty impressive and it's pretty similar to the uh, iPad mini in specs uh, it doesn't come with Bluetooth or anything like that uh, or uh, 3G let's have a look at some of the actual uh, functions here there's your actual applications as you can see which you can download and there you've got your widgets pretty standard stuff really so you've got your little display buttons here as you can see uh, at the bottom these are actually to get back to your desktop and stuff like that and to uh, go backwards and as you can see uh, we're going to take a look at some of the actual uh, features in here here's your settings inside here you can have all your applications and stuff like that and go through all your apps that you got installed and stuff like that um, but you can just go through this in your own leisure but pretty much pretty standard for an Android uh, tablet really most of them are all the same you can disable stuff and enable stuff just like so um, I'm gonna go back and have a look at the actual internet here so we'll open up the internet and I'll type in here say uh, Sky News or something like that to see how it loads seems to be loading okay for me I don't I haven't had a problem with the wireless um, connection to be honest as you can see that loaded up straight away and as silky smooth no lag or nothing like that it's pretty uh, awesome really so let's have a look at uh, some other features here we're going to do a benchmark of this and uh, get an overall result and find out what it is um, and find out where it stacks up against the rest of them so I'll just quickly speed this part up and let it go through its motions so there you see the results I think it says something in the region of about 4,236 or 9 something like that I can't quite see that on the screen here while I'm doing the talk over but as you can see it's second in the list and it beats quite a few contenders so pretty good results really so let's take a look at something else here we'll look at uh, YouTube now again this loads up really quickly once you click OK here click on what you want to do we're going to click on recommended and uh, this will load up straight away like so now this is a new device and uh, as you can see it's nice and smooth the quicker you flick it the quicker it will spin um, but that loads up very quick let's have a look at um, something else here we'll take a look at uh, Google Maps here I think and see what uh, this looks like as you can see on the screen loading up very quickly and you can just zoom in okay you just uh, zoom in as you want okay and as you can see it loads up pretty fast here now I'm having a bit of a trouble uh, getting the zoom going here because I'm in an awkward position while filming but as you can see we've got our apps here again and uh, we'll take a look at some other bits maybe look at the uh, music here now this is a uh, specially designed for Arcos I think where you got the actual albums or singles that are all lined up with all the fan art which is really nice touch I think so that's the Arcos 80 titanium in a nutshell it's awesome for the price to be honest now people do forget how much it does cost against the iPad mini and it's got the same type of features okay it's got its few issues but then iPad mini is not perfect to be honest and neither are some of the other tablets so if you're looking for a budget uh, tablet with awesome power and uh, awesome features then the Arcos 80 titanium is your choice really I think you've got to go for it I mean for that money 
I'll let you know about the uh, wireless problem that some people say they've had with it. I've not seen that. But I'm going to wrap this one up. It gets a thumbs up from me. And my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you like the video, hit the like button, guys. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. So don't forget, subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Bye for now.